Hello guys, Nato Ace here and I want to give my thoughts on so far the Nintendo Switch Online for the NES and to some extent Game Boy but mostly NES because I have to say for me personally this past two months, September and October I gotta give credit to Nintendo for actually offering games that are well from Japan believe it or not Oh boy, so what am I talking about? First, I want to give my thoughts on the NES part. And surprisingly, this one on September, they had an update that's only exclusive to international, not even in Japan, because this game came out only in Japan. So, first of all, NES Joy Mech Fight. So, of course, if you know that pink robot that looks like balls, he was an assist trophy for Smash Bros. Ultimate. Finally, they released that on the West version of the Switch Online. It was already been in Japan. It's a weird 2D fighting game. It's weird. I mean, you're probably not going to get into it. I mean, a lot of these NES games are just quick and pick up as this year. It is what it is. And then for the Super Nintendo, believe it or not, is Kirby Star Stacker. Another one that's never been in Japan, but for whatever reason, they decided to bring it out. So it's kind of weird. Like I said, these two games was already out in Japan. But they finally in release in the West. So I gotta give props. Not a lot of people like it. It is what it is there. And for the Game Boy Quest for Camelot, that's kind of like a licensed game. Kind of weird that they're gonna release it. But you know, whatever. Like I said, for me personally, is that the twenty dollars is for you to get play online, not to play NES retro game or whatever. I mean, granted, that's what the fifty dollar one and. Spoiled on my main channel, I'm gonna give my final impression of the expansion pack. But to some extent, I hardly play it because I have a lot of games. But they are releasing some game. What's the future for the N64? Who knows? Of course, there's GBA, and then of course, there's also Sega Genesis. But that's a different story then. So, of course, October the 30th, they announced another pack of NES game that's only in Japan. And of course, first for the Game Boy, Castlevania Legend, when you play as Sonya Belmont. Never played it, played it. Castlevania game for the Game Boy, it is what it is there. But the bigger one, I said that, how come they're not releasing this, but the final did. So of course, the two are first, Devil's World, of course, that game also came out in Europe during the NES era. Finally, legitly in the West, of course, I did a show this long time ago. And for the reason why that was never released during the 90s is it was a lot of religious stuff in it. Of course, Devil's World, you're a dragon, you're collecting white balls. It is very religious what it looks like. There's also crucifix. Again, it was weird. But the funny part is in my home country, but hear me out, and this game, Devil's World, was very popular there. So, I mean, it is what it is. But it's just a game. It's fictional. It's not real. But finally, at least, it's coming out. And then, the mysterious Murasame Castle. So, of course, this one came out in the 3DS Virtual Castle. It's kind of weird. Why not in the Wii U? Played it. I know they never translated. I don't think the one on the 3DS also wasn't translated. But, hey, it's not really that hard. It's just a hack and slash. You go from point A to point B. Again, popular game. Of course, more recognition because of Samurai Warrior 3 for the Wii at that time. And then, of course, Super Smash Bros. Wii U 3DS and Ultimate. Thoughts about those? I have to say, I gotta get props. Yeah, I mean, still not the big banger that some people want. But you gotta keep in mind that, to some extent, buying, paying for the $20 yearly is to play online and that's it. The others, let's just say they're like side dishes. Just my opinion, but... Again, it is what it is there. So with that said, so cool about that. Why am I talking about this? Well, hopefully in the future that Nintendo will finally release in the West games that are only in Japan. And I did a showcase of this long time ago in the past. And those are the Grand Prix Volume Series. If you don't know what they are, they are a Famicom disc game. And basically, Grand Prix, the race, there are two volume events. So Volume 1 is F1 Race. Volume 2 is one of my favorite one, even as a kid. My cousin loved this when he played it on the Famicom disc system. 3D Hot Rally. So I was hoping maybe in the future they'll release it. I'll just have to wait and see. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe in the next Nintendo console or better yet, 
even they released the next Nintendo console, they're still updating the Switch Online on the Switch. But we just have to wait and see how they're gonna go. Is it a different approach than what Iwata? I have to wait and see. Anyway, why am I talking about this? Because they're popular in Japan racing games. So F1 Race is a overhead view racing game. Kind of reminds you of RC Pro Arm. And it's kind of fun. Again, quick and pick up. Hopefully that one. So it's a fun race. But again, like I said, it's an overhead. Basically very OG NES Nintendo style. And then... 3D Hat Rally is Nintendo's version of OutRun and the whole point of the game is you have to race within the allotted time, like OutRun. So you gotta be fast, you have to avoid any hazard, you get the idea what it is. And of course this one has also damage system, so the more damage you do, well, push get to shove, well, game over. Very very intense game for 3D Hat Rally. Like, one of my cousins played it, like, it took him at least, like, an hour and a half just to finish the course. But again, really fun game. And maybe the Rewind feature, maybe there's a cheat version, but that's a different story there. So hopefully, in the long run, Nintendo would consider releasing this to Grand Prix game. So once again, Grand Prix Volume 1, F1 Race, and then Grand Prix Volume 2, 3D Hard Rally, hopefully. We'll just have to wait and see. Of course, there's more... Nintendo published NES games such as Map Rider, Star Tropic 2, NES Classic Golf, Fire Emblem, and Dr. Mario for the Game Boy. I guess that's it. I mean, I would be nice for uh, Duck Hunt, Wild Gun, Hogan Sally, but that's a different story there. So that's my thoughts on the games being released and hopefully that, like I said, the Grand Prix series would also come out. We'll just have to wait and see. So with that, I'll see you guys later.